Well, I'll give you the word picture. I've had some lessons with, with another instructor. I'm at the partly trained level. Mm -hmm. But my instructor couldn't make it today. But he has got the same car as you, which is, which is quite handy because I'm familiar with the controls. He said today we were going to do... He's going to teach me emerging. Okay. So what level am I at? Partly trained. Yeah, what subject? Emerging. Yeah. Phase one. So, have you got any questions? Now's the time to ask them before we go on to roll. No. Okay. Hi, Tony. My name's Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Nice to meet you. Okay. Um, I believe you're instructor of the raid today. Yes, yeah. Playing golf somewhere nice yeah. today. Uh, yeah. Um, today I'll be taking a lesson. Um, I did speak to your instructor last night, and he did say we're going to do um, the objectives of today's lesson is going to be emerging. All right. Okay. Um, can you tell me if you've uh, eight. Eight, yeah. Sorry, just let me get there first. I told you that on the list at the beginning. Pardon? I told you that on the list on the left hand side. Okay. Yeah. Um, can you tell me if you uh, are you familiar with the MSPSL routine? Oh, that mirror signal position uh, speed look, route, yes. look routine. Yes. Yeah, well, I used that last week on these left and right hand turns. Oh, excellent. Well, today we're going to be using the same routine again. Okay. So can you tell me, um, in your last lesson when you were turning left, um, on your left and right turn, what mirrors were you checking for left turn? Oh, I checked the middle one and the left one. Excellent. And how far about were you signalling on your uh, left turn? Around about six to eight car lengths. Excellent. And what was your position on your left turn? You had me keeping to a normal position. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what was your speed like on your left turn? Oh, two speeds. You had, um, I had kind of walking pace or a jogging pace. Okay. That's good. And where were you looking when you um, did your left turn? Oh, I had to look well into the road for pedestrians and uh, pink elephants and unicycles. Excellent. Okay, well that's what we're going to be doing today. Right. Okay, the only other I, thing is... That I, I never did come across any pink elephants, but... Okay, pink elephants, yeah. did you? <laughs> you mean pedestrians and cyclists? Oh, I think he meant anything. Okay, <laughs> alright. Okay, well, the other thing is, I'm going to give you a couple of reference points today. So, so when we're emerging uh, left, it's, we're going to use the same routine, the MSPSL right. routine. The only thing is, I'm going to give you a reference point um, um, at the giveaway line. Right. So to get you to stop at the giveaway line, and I'm going to get you to pick a reference point to be um, as near as the curb, but not mounting the curb. All right. Okay, so it's going to be about a meter's width away from the, the curb here. The other thing we're going to do is um, give you a, a judgment of when you can make that emerge safely. So I'll give you a, a drive across, what's called a drive across, well, sorry, walk across, drive across rule, um, which will be where turning for turning left, if you, cars from our right, if you can walk from one curb across to the other, not allowing that car from the right to stop, swerve or slow or swear, right. then we can make that emerge safely and bring some speed up in the new road. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Um, otherwise, if you're encroaching that, and also, if we're encroaching that giveaway line, vehicles from our right will obviously swerve around us and we don't want to do yeah, that. So yeah, I'll give you a reference point for that. Yeah, the detail can be given on the move. Okay. Okay, so can you remember when you were turning right in your left and right turns last week, um, what mirrors were you checking? Oh, it was always inside out, so it would have been middle and right. Excellent. And how far were you signalling? It was roughly about the same, about six to eight car lengths. Excellent. And where was your car positioned for turning right? Oh, we had this... We had me doing this kind of left to centre thingy. Left to centre? Okay, well that's similar to what we're going to do for emerging as well today. And your speed, how was your speed? I had the same kind of speed, it was either walking pace or jogging pace. Excellent. Um, so when you were walking, when you were, when you say walking pace, is that because... I couldn't see into the road. Okay, so you could. So if it was a closed junction, you basically did that walking speed. He never mentioned anywhere closed, but he said there. Okay. Uh, so I if you could see. have seen inside that new road, you'd obviously do walking pace. Yeah. And if you could see quite openly in that road, which is an open junction. Yeah, I took, I took a couple of turns in second. Okay, is that where you could see into the road? Yeah. Okay, brilliant. Well, that's what we're going to be doing similar um, today. Okay, and where were you looking when you were driving into the... Um, into oh, ahead and into the road. Excellent. Okay, well, that's what we're similar going to do today um, in our right emerges today. Yeah. Okay, the same routine, MS, MSP style routine. The only thing here, again, is we're going to give you a couple of reference points um, for left to centre being left to centre, like you did last week. Also, we're going to um, stop at the giveaway line, which will obviously give you a reference point on the move. Um, again, we're going to... For the right turn, I'm going to give you, again, the walk across, drive across rule. So, when we're turning right, because we're crossing the path of the vehicles from our right, we want to be able to walk from one curb across to the other. 
and that will enable us to just cross their path without allowing them to stop, swerve or swear and slow down. Okay? Um, vehicles from our left, because we're joining their path, we want to be able to emerge safely and bring some speed up on that road. So we want to make sure we can walk from one curb across to the other and walk back. That enables us to make sure that that vehicle from the left does not slow, stop, swear, or uh, no. swear at us, okay? And that's how we would judge to make that right emerge. Okay. Um, where we see signs like this at an emerge, we're going to make sure we stop. Oh, Our car has to be stationary by law because obviously yeah. we can't be sort of even moving our vehicles, uh, sort of wheels, we, we should be stopped there. Um, give way lines, you know, that's how we can identify mark road markings, you know, give way lines, houses facing us, maybe a park face, a field facing us, cars crossing each other, that's how we identify these emerges. Oh, you help me with that then. And I'll help you on the move, okay? So how yeah. does that feel? Yeah, sounds good. Excellent, okay. Well, if you set Is yourself up. You my, my jump rope? Of course you can. Okay. As long as you've got some clothes underneath, that's what, that was fine. <laughs> I'm getting nervous now. Oh, you've got nothing to be nervous about. Okay, so if you set yourself up then, oh, right, yes. the, what is that, the cockpit drill? Oh, yeah. yeah. So what can you see in your TV mirror? Oh, I can see the hole in the back window, and I can see a bit of my head restraint, and I can see the corner of your window. Excellent. And your right door handle? Um, I can see the door handles, and I can see the sky at the top and the road coming in the middle. Excellent. And the left door handle? And uh, pretty much the same on that one. Excellent. Okay. So if you say, uh, if you start the car, then. Okay. Okay. So we're looking out for these emerges. Anything sort of uh, lampers facing us, houses facing us. Any cars sort of crossing each other uh, to identify that there's an emerge coming up. Um, also, we'll have road signs. Oh, you, oh, we get road signs all the time, do we? Not all the time, no, not all the time, but you know. <laughs> yeah, but we've got we've got sort of pointers of like, you know, the houses facing us. And if you look right ahead now, you've got some houses facing us. Oh, See right. that, Tony? That's an emerge. We're going to turn left. And we're going to turn left at the emerge. So we're going to check the interior mirror. Check it, Tony. All right, the yeah. interior mirror. Yeah. The left door hand mirror for any cyclists. Check it, Tony. Okay. And we're going to signal it about now, which is about 78 car lengths. All right. Okay. And we're going to cover the brake. Yeah. And you're going to st steer towards me, sorry. Clutch down and brake to stop just there. Oops, sorry. Okay, Tony. So everyone coming behind us, if you pop it in first gear and prepare yourself to go, um, handbrake on the first right. second, but don't go anywhere now to, until I tell you to do so. That's important, isn't it? Yeah, that's important. Um, can you tell me where the give way line is? It's important to be in first gear, isn't it? It is important to be in first gear. Are you in first gear? Yeah. Okay, yeah, otherwise if we, we move in and we're in third gear, the car will stall and, oh, right, and we can roll yeah. back through yeah, and climb up the other. Yeah. So, can you tell me where the give way line cuts into the car? No, oh, just underneath that door mirror. Okay, well, that'll be our reference point for not encroaching the give way line, Tony. Because if we were encroaching the give way line, Vehicles from our right will um, swerve around us, will in fact actually clip our car in front. Oh, okay? right, yeah. And we don't want to be far back from that giveaway line, Tony, because vehicles behind us may think, oh, he's left his indicator and he's just popped up and may decide to overtake us oh, right. at, the t at the same time we're emerging and most likely we'll um, have an accident. Okay? Yeah. So can you tell me where the um, straight part of this um, curb cuts into the car here? Oh, near that uh, tax disc. Okay. So we'll use that as our reference point for not mounting and not being too close to the curb. Because um, if there was a pedestrian waiting there and you were um, emerging, our we be um, our wheels from the back will mount uh, will turn in. And if there was a pedestrian standing there, you'd most likely mount the curb um, and yeah. injure the uh, pedestrian. Okay, so that's a reference point for not mounting the curb. I got it for the forward, so I don't make sure I don't make the curb, isn't it? Well, then we'd encroach the giveaway line, wouldn't we? No, I mean, I could, when I move away, I could go further out into the road. Yeah, but then you obviously, when your wheels turn in, you can mount the curb and damage your tyres as well. You don't want to do that, no. do you? Okay, so the way we're going to judge to go safely here, because there's no one behind us, um, vehicles from our right, you basically want to just cross their path. Sorry, yeah, you want to, sorry, no, vehicles from our right, you want to emerge the, um, into the new road safely and bring up some speed without allowing those vehicles um, from the right to stop, swerve, slow or s swear at us, okay? So the way we do that is we judge that by 
walking from one curb across to the other and then walking back to the curb yeah. again. Okay? So could you do that? Could you would you be able to do that now? With no. this car? No. no. Okay. So we'll do that now then. So there's no car coming. Is anybody coming there? No. Okay, anybody in front of us? No. Anyone on our left? No. Again in front of us? No. To our right again then, Tony? Nobody coming? No. Okay, so we'll we'll proceed as normal then. We'll emerge then. No. Just coming out of roll. There was nobody behind you there, but there is. There is nobody behind you. Yeah, there is nobody behind you. So, do you not want to fill in any more blanks? Okay, so if there was a cyclist... The reason why... Don't forget, you're trying to get rid of these bits that I already done last week. The reason why? Yeah, so the reason why on approach we check the middle mirror. Brilliant, yeah. So, the reason why on approach to the um, emerge we check the middle mirror is for distance speed of vehicles right. behind us. Yeah. And uh, left or hand mirror for any cyclist. Now, if there was a cyclist at Tony, we won't uh, put a signal on because if we did, we'd scare them off and we certainly wouldn't steer into them because obviously you'd injure them. Oh, okay? Yeah. So that's why we're checking our inter uh, the yeah. left or hand mirror. Okay? That's important. And if you're turning right? And if we're turning right again, we check the interior mirror and the right door hand mirror to make sure no one's over. Uh, the interior mirror for distance of speed of vehicles behind us and the right door hand mirror to make sure nobody's overtaking us. If somebody was overtaking us, Tony, you'd let them go. Otherwise, you'd force them onto the oncoming oh, right, car yeah, of, of, yeah. Um, of um, vehicles on the other side. Okay? So, we're going to do that judgment again. And you're going to bank you Nobody behind you, is there? Okay. Um, and we signal about seven car lengths, Tony, to enable, um, to allow vehicles behind us to know what we're doing. But that isn't a set in stone. That isn't set in stone. Because if there was an injunction before us, before the one we wanted to take, then we delay that signal just as we pass in that um, junction and then pop our signal on, Tony. Oh, right. The reason for that is because there could be a car coming out of that junction and may think that you've signaled to go into that junction and decide to pull out and we'll most likely crash into them. Oh, okay? right. So we pass that junction and then pop, pop our signal on. Oh, so right. it's not always seven to, five, uh, seven to eight car lengths. It, it may be probably just before we get to this our junction. Yeah. Okay. And... Uh, and in the new road? And once we're in the new road, Tony, once you into the new road, I want you to check your interior mirror and your left door hand mirror, so right door hand mirror to make sure that they're, you know, for a distance of speed of vehicles behind us and to make sure that nobody's overtaking us. Again, if anybody was overtaking us, Tony, you'd let them pass because otherwise you'd force them on and come for the traffic oh. on the other side. And we will always be looking in the direction we're uh, 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 steering, Tony, because once you emerged into the new road, there could be most likely a pedestrian standing there waiting to cross or stepped into the road, in fact, and you'd be looking on the other side. Um, most likely, you'd, um, the consequence of that, you'd most likely run them over. Right. It's okay. vital. I just better run them in there now. So, now remember, that's a car behind me now. Okay. She's telling me where to look. So, just look right, way. Tony. Anybody coming? Yeah. Okay, so look ahead. Anybody there? No. On your left? No. Okay, ahead again. Nobody there. On your right again? Up past the so, Yeah, okay, so we'll so look in the direction you're going, oh, Tony. Right, yeah. yeah, steer towards me then. Well, those cars be a problem to me if okay, I. steer towards me. And straighten up. And we've entered a new road, Tony. So check your interior mirror. Check it, Tony. Right door hand mirror. Okay. And Sorry, turning right. And turning right. Yeah, but those cars have been on the other side of the road. Are they a problem when you're emerging? They could have been because there could have been a pedestrian between those cars yeah. and walked out at yeah, any time. Yeah, just out of road. Might be an idea to mention, wouldn't it? So many cars come up on the left, coming down this road. Yeah. They've got to get around them park cars, haven't they? Of course, yeah. 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 Yeah, so don't forget, you, you, when you held me there, because you put a lot of money in the bank, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, could I do that then, to give you all that information? Then? Yeah, there's nobody behind you, is there? Cool. Okay. Yeah? So remember, the money's in the bank. Okay. So, you have talked me through all the stuff I've done last week there, apart from the left to centre. Yeah. Start taking that money out, prompt. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Okay, so we're looking out for these emerges, Tony. Right. So we're looking for houses facing us. Lampposts facing us, fields facing us, cars driving past each other, across each other. So I identify that there may be a merge. So what do we have ahead, Tony? Oh, an emerge. An emerge. We're going to turn right. So we're going to turn right. So check your interior mirror, Tony. Check it. Right door hand mirror. Check it. Okay, we signal about now. Cover the brake. Steer towards you five minutes, Tony. Ten minutes to meet. And stop. Okay. Stop behind brake. I'm going to be in trouble stopping, am not I? Yeah. Uh, we're going to break at the thickness of pan core and bring that to an old man's walking pace. Obviously, I'll, I'll show you on, on the next one. Yeah, so can you just... A bit frightening now, isn't it? Yeah. So we've got a car in front of us, Tony. So check to your right. Anybody there? No. Anybody in front of us? Any cars? Anybody, anybody, anybody on the no. left? 
again ahead yeah. and to our right. Yeah. Okay. So look in the direction we're steering oh, yeah. turning. So yeah. steer towards you and steer towards me and straighten up. Okay, check your interior mirror because we've entered a new road. Put distance the speed of vehicles behind us and the right door handrail for uh, anyone over to the ever turn left. Are you gonna prompt in this stuff for what that that I've done before that you just explain to me? Okay, so Okay, yeah. I'm concentrating because you have you have got money in the but bank. But you didn't here. say that we did that last week or anything. Yes, I did. No, we did just you, that. I did you. You've got. A, you had an opportunity there to fill the blanks in, didn't you? Yeah. I, I encourage you to fill the blanks in. Yeah. 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 Which leaves you to concentrate on the emerge, doesn't it? Yeah. Which is the bit that you're that you're slightly cocking up at the moment. Yeah, the braking. Um, you. Yeah, yeah. Co covering the braking ain't going to stop the car, is it? Yeah, the braking is going to stop the car. Look enough, you can, look, look enough, you can come in and stop here. Otherwise, I would have been uh, over that white line twice, wouldn't I? Yeah. Yeah, right. Six of pound coin, six of pound coin. Want to speed down the walking face, yeah? Yeah. yeah. But you know, use that. Start taking that money out of the bank on the stuff I've done before. Okay. Prompt me, cool. and when you prompt me, all you do is watch me to make sure I do it. Yeah. Okay. Makes it easy, because then all, all you're teaching is a bit. Uh, that it's a new bit for the emerging. Yeah. Makes sense. Yep. Yes. Yeah, so the reason why at a roll I questioned you about the left emerge, because we were sitting there. There was time to get the detail in about if there is a car coming from the left with those parked cars. I'm going to have to be careful, isn't I? Yeah. That car coming from my left is going to be coming down the middle of the road, yeah? yeah. So, the idea of, of, of being sitting at a live marriage is that you've got the whole briefing picture in front of you, haven't you? Yeah. Use it. It's all detail, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah? Right, back in roll. Okay, so Tony, we're looking out for these emerges. So, how are you identifying these emerges, then, Tony? Oh, I'm not too sure, yeah. Okay, so we're going to have there will be houses facing towards us. Um, post facing towards us, or fields facing towards us, cars crossing each other, oh, right. um, road signs maybe, give way lines. That's how we identify these emerges. So we're looking well into the road ahead, just looking out for these emerges. So when you enter a new road, then Tony, once you've done the emerge, what mirror is you? Ah, uh, middle and right. Uh. Excellent. Okay. Well, on the next one, maybe I'll just uh, you know prompt you on that one. So what do we have ahead of us here, Tony? Just tell me. So what do we have ahead of us? Just tell me. So we have an emerge in front we're of us. We're going to turn right. And we're going to turn right. So check into your mirror, Tony. Check it, Tony. Oh, sorry. What mirror are you checking? Oh, middle right. Okay. And we're going to signal about now to seven car lengths. Okay. Steer towards you. So we cover the brake. Brake. Steer towards me. <laughs> you're making life really difficult for yourself oh, because you're not man. prompting, yeah? Yeah. 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 I should have prompted you. Yeah. Was, yeah. The bit I don't know how to do is the emerge, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Let's give it a left centre line as well. Sorry. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, but I mean, if you'd have prompted me, okay. you'd have had a lot more time to time in your hands, yeah? Okay, Tony, so break at the thickness of pan corn, bring the car to an old man's walking place, he steer towards you five minutes and ten minutes of it and straight up. Okay, just stop there, Tony. Can you just um, tell me where the sort of left of centre line cuts into no, the car? I can't see it, do you? can't see it. Well, could you imagine if there was sort of a centre line there? No, I've got a lazy imagination, you're getting away with that one. Okay, <laughs> okay Alright, so if we just um, head towards the giveaway line, and we use that reference point, we stop there then, Tony. Okay. Yeah. Be, be careful about banging the reference point over to me on the second junction, yeah? Okay. Because we haven't really had a good approach yet, have we? No. Yeah, when you get a couple of good approaches in, then you can start doing okay. it. Okay, yeah? so can you just tell me where that giveaway lane cuts into the car, please? Oh, we don't need a door mirror. Okay. So. We'll use that as a reference point for not encroaching the giveaway lane. Do you remember why it's important we don't encroach that giveaway lane? Oh, uh, you said something about cars swerving around me. Yeah, so vehicles from our right mates. Yeah. Swear around your clipping car. And do you remember why it's important that we don't fall short of that good rail line, Tony? Uh, people think I'm parked on me. And what would the consequence of that be? Oh, be taking me on and hit me. Okay, okay. Well, and we're gonna, now we're going to judge to see how we can emerge this right turn. Yeah. So, where are we going to look first, then, Tony? Uh, right. Okay, and then? Left and right. Ahead. There was that sort of parked cars here, Tony. Oh, there is no parked cars. Okay. So, okay, so to our left. No pedestrians waiting to stand or any yeah. dogs coming to run off over us or this side. So, white again then, Tony. Okay, so how are we judging to merge then, Tony? Do you remember? Um, I was a car coming from the right to have to be able to um, not make them slow, stop, or swear. Or swear. Mm -hmm. Okay, and how are you judging that? Um, oh, something about if I can walk across and walk back again. Okay, so vehicles from my right then, because we're cutting their path. Are we walking from one curb across to the other and walking back again then? Oh, I have to walk over and back again, yeah? No, because we're cutting their path only. Crossing their path? Sorry, crossing their path. We just walk from one curb across to the other. Oh, right, so we're just yeah. crossing their path. Oh, right. Vehicles from our right, Tony. I'm sorry, from our left. Because we're going to join their path, 
we don't want them to slow, stop, swerve, or slow down. All right. So we want to be able to walk from one curb across to the other and then walk back, which enables us to emerge safely oh, right. yeah. and bring yeah. up that speed yeah. Yeah. to the new road. Okay? Yeah. So, okay, so we'll do our checks again then. So, to our right, anybody coming? No. Ahead, anybody no, there? No. Left? No, no. Ahead? No, no. To our right? No, no. Okay, so we can steer towards you then. Story. Okay, so put it, pop it in first gear, right. Tony. It's important we have it in first gear, otherwise the car will stall. So look in the direction we're oh, going, Tony. Okay. okay, so we've entered a new road, so what chip mirrors are you going to check? Oh, middle right. Excellent. And why are we checking the interior mirror, Tony? Oh, this is a speed the vehicle driving. Oh, and the right door handle? Anybody overtaking it. And if they were overtaking, Tony, what would you do? Oh, I'd let them go, wouldn't it? And why would you let them go? Unfortunately, they're not coming car, isn't it? Excellent. Well done. Okay, well, I'll leave that to you then. On the other ones, I'll just see next how you right. get on. And at the end right, please. Next right. Sorry, next right, please. So is that important for me to look the way I'm, I'm actually going as I commit? Yeah, totally, because there could be a pedestrian waiting to uh, cross or actually stepped into the commit themselves to the road. Oh. And if you were looking in the opposite direction, the consequences of that you'd most likely run them run him over, wouldn't you? No, would You'd kill them, yeah. And that could be your wife standing there, waiting or, or just step into the road. <laughs> oh, I keep looking to the left, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you would, and I'm sure you love it a bit. Yeah. Now we're going to turn right. Now we're going to turn right. Do you remember why when we're merging left, it's important to check the interior and the left door handle? What are we checking the left door handle mirror for, Tony? Oh, when we're approaching? Yeah. Oh, this is the speed. And, uh, and the cyclists. Excellent. And when we're signalling about seven to, uh, seven to eight car lengths, um, is that always st uh, set in stone? No. If there's a turning beforehand, I um, have to delay the signal. Excellent. Okay, brilliant. And why are we delaying that signal then? Because if there's a car waiting to come out or a motorbike waiting to come out, we confuse them. Confuse them more so we could probably. Look, it is a bit. Okay, so we're looking out for these emerges then, Tony. So we're looking out for houses facing us, cars crossing each uh, other, yeah. lampposts facing us. Um, we have something here. What do we have here, Tony? Just tell me. So we have an emerge here, Tony. Turning right. So we're turning right. So check into. What mirror do you check into? Middle right. Okay, so we're about you signaling. Oh, no. Okay, so cover the brake, yeah. brake at the thickness of pound coin, and stay towards you five minutes. Five minutes, to, uh, ten minutes to me, and straighten up and just stop there, Tony. Okay, pop it in first gear, then Tony, because right. no one's behind us. Okay, we've put your signal back on because we just can't it there. It's important to be in first gear. Yeah, it's important to be in first gear, Tony, because we don't want to stall the car when we're moving off in second or third gear. Okay, that was in the detail. Okay, so can you just tell me where that left to centre line cuts? I can indeed, yeah, you can see right there. <laughs> Excellent. So, Tony, we're going to use that as our reference point for being left at centre. Right. Okay, and what it's important that we don't encroach that left at centre line because vehicles were, if they were shooting, <laughs> if they were shooting around this corner, Tony, <coughs> you'd most likely have a head on collision. Oh, right. Okay? We don't want to be far from that uh, left at centre line because vehicles behind us would think, oh, his left is indicating one, and I'll just decide to overtake him. Oh, right. And obviously, if he, if he decided to do that and we were emerging at the same time, we'd most likely hit each other. Oh, right. Because it's important that we use that reference point.